Hey guys, this is Steve. I just flew it. It actually, um, well, hovered it anyway and scooted it around the parking lot for about 10 minutes. Um, it did pretty good. Um, <laughs> it's definitely not uh, production ready, but uh, anyway, right now it's on the uh, the second level from beginner as far as I'm using the just the stock settings. I didn't play with the gains or anything. Um, since I put this different mounting, you know, I got it mounted on the side here. A um, little messy here, but I wanted to leave that loose <laughs> for obvious reasons. Uh, what we have here is a double stick, then that copper plate, and then two double sticks, and then this guy. Very secure. It's not coming off there uh, very easily. It looks like it could fall off, but it's really securely on there. Um, flew much better. It's still not a, uh, you know, it didn't fly like a professional unit, but. Uh, some of you guys asked about the, how much slop is in this, and I'm going to show you how much slop is in here. Also, maybe a little bit better look at the, the angle on these guys. I don't have it powered up right now, or I, I probably should have, so I could show you the travel and all that. But I have it doing about plus and minus 10 degrees right now uh, on the uh, cyclic pitch. And then as far as anything else, uh, I'm, actually, I'm actually confused on some of the other the endpoints for the swash. is kind of weird. I'll probably ask about that on the forum. But uh, you guys asked about the slop. Here's about how much slop's in the head if you want to see it. I don't know. Something like that. If you look at all the linkage on these things, there's your, there's your swash plate. That's the slop. There's the linkage coming down to the servo. There's one of those uh, 45s, and then here's the actual servo itself. So about that much movement on the servo, and about that much out here. couple degrees I don't know but compare that to the professional unit <laughs> this is the blade 450 X yeah here's our slop here I mean there's micro micro minuscule amount here throw that in the trash over there here's a t-rex 450 SL or SA or I don't know. I've given up on figuring out whether it's an SL or an SA or whatever, but this thing flies like a dream. And this is not fly barless, but uh, I can grab a servo here somewhere. Yeah, no slop whatsoever in that. So that that's super tight. But this this thing flies perfect. An old flybard T Rex 450s something. But yeah, back to the uh, East guy. <laughs> anyway, it's flying. Uh, I could probably tweak the settings a little more. It's not flying perfect. The tail jumps around a little bit, and everything seems random. I get random cyclic jumps once every 20 seconds, I would say. You get a little thump, and then I'm also noticing that I have a, a thump in the tail every 15 or 20 seconds. Just a little jerk in the tail. It doesn't stay right on the head. It just jumps a little bit. So, Anyhow, there you have it.